Well, you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. Who the hell are you calling soft? But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you still live. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. That sounds so utterly wrong. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. <laughs> Even the way he disappears is effeminate. He angers me. And that is our heart container. Fully restores our life and gives us an extra heart. Good stuff, yo. Alright, well, let's go ahead and grab it. I would be a fool to skip it. Yeah, this is not a minimum life run. Screw that. <laughs> Alright. Now we go, because this is where Zelda's aura was. He was behind this door. We beat the game, only not really. Alright. Run up the steps. I don't get to run up the steps. I guess it's just saying what I know. Like I know what running up the steps should be like, so it's saving me that. I butchered that sentence, but whatever. There are fish. Here, come on, fishy. Come on, fish. Damn it, fish. Get in my net. Fish. fish. Can you catch fish like this? I don't even think you can. Whatever. Okay. Cutting these for rupees? Why? Why not? All right. See. Damn it, Link! I want to catch the boys. Yes, this this is pretty and all of that jazz, but we we want to catch a boy. Okay, maybe we're not going to catch a boy. Wait, okay. Screw it, whatever. What is this over here? Oh, more fish, okay. Well, then we gotta do this. I think we gotta do a little Skyward Strike, so... And there we go. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. And now she's doing some water dancing. Or ice skating on water. Whatever. From the edge of time, I guide you, the one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. Spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. Purify her body. Okay. You said in one of these places, Spring, uh, Skyview Spring, the other is known as the Earth Spring. This second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. The spirit maiden, never mindful of the heavy task and trusted to her, has set out for the second sacred place. Got the ruby tablet. The weather shift is this heavy storm tablet. It feels very old. Okay. Let's say storm tablet. I meant to say stone tablet. Pardon my dyslexia. And um, for the people watching this that may actually do have dyslexia, I, I apologize. It's just an off color joke. I'm not trying to make light of it. Alright, whatever. Master, I just translated it. It would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of this spring. I calculate a 97% chance she has already set out for Elden, where another great spring exists. So what about that 3% chance, then? Alright, then. It was not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. Maybe Loftwing? You know what I mean? Because she does have a bird. My analysis suggests you should take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. Doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface, allowing you to descend to another area and continue your search for Zelda. Let's return to Sky once more before continuing our search. The bird statue outside can take us back up. Can I please try catching a bird now? Okay, maybe not. Whatever. Save it to progress. 
Save a complete. Damn it! It teleported me back. Okay, well, fine. Fine. I didn't want to catch a bird anyway. Hey, it's me, Queen. Did you find a girl? Not yet. Oh, that's too bad, but it sounds like you at least know where to need to search next. Fine, Queen, that's something, right? I'm so glad I finally been reunited with all my geeky friends, so thanks to you, Queen. Any luck, hopefully, you'll find the girl you've been searching for real soon. Take care, okay? Yay, that was pointless! Alright, and so with that, we can get on this here uh, bird statue to go back up to Sky Loft. We're going to the sky! I guess I'll just cut out this travel. I guess. I don't know. There's really no point. I guess I don't need to cut it out. Master Link! When you hit that goddess cube with the Skyrim Striker, they were able to detect the resulting energy reaction above the clouds. Oh yeah, I guess I can show this off then. Yeah. So that goddess cube we hit went there. Location I marked on your map indicates the spot where I sensed an energy reaction. Okay. Well then let's just go ahead and place a, a beacon right there. Right. I advise you to investigate the area around this location. You know what? Yeah, we'll do that before we head to Skylaw. So where did that beacon? Where is that damn beacon? There it is. Okay. I'm flying like I'm drunk and I don't care. Oh, I'm out of uh, bird wing power. Nose dive. That's what all the cool kids are doing. Yeah. And fly. Off wing, can you go any faster? Why am I keeping this in? I don't know. It's boy travel. Hey, does this one appear on the roof, actually? Well, we will soon find out. Okay. Uh, how do I get off? Oh, now. <laughs> Graceful landing! Okay. Why am I dowsing? And I'm trying to see... where that treasure chest was. Why am I quiet? I don't know. Uh, here it is. I don't know if this is the one we unlocked, though. I mean, if you find one of these treasure chests, but you didn't strike the corresponding goddess cube, you can't open it. So that was not the right chest. Because we cannot open it. Okay, yeah, we can't open it. So, is it somewhere around here, then? On the ground level? No time for parkour, Link. You and that parkour. Wow. There's nothing here on ground level. What? Oh, here it is. Oh, because it's lit up. Da 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 da! We made our adventure pouch bigger! Hell yeah! Yay, we can now hold four items. Isn't that precious? Isn't that precious? Yeah, we might as well go in here and activate the little thing in here. I have yet to determine if this is just optional or not. Right. Oh, for a minute I thought I was about to play uh, Epono's, uh, Epono? Epona's song from uh, Ocarina of Time. It's like, why would they be playing that here? Oh, curse you ethics and moral code. Alright, we can talk to the bartender behind the bar. Pumpkin, that does not sound like a nice place to die. Do I have to pay? Better not have to pay. Damn it, they brought up the rupee counter. I'm gonna have to pay. No thanks. I'm cheap like that. Don't break anything or make a mess of this pub. This is my special order custom made chandelier hanging from the ceiling. See you shaking it. Don't even look at it sideways. Am I clear? I'm looking at it sideways! Alright. I like how they still show it. But see, I mean, look, it has rupees and a piece of heart. And there are people here. Let us talk to the people. Why? Because we can. 
it saw a demon! Dear God. Okay. Well, I don't really think, like, saying I saw a demon is a good pickup line, but oh well. Yeah. I did not mean to do that! Oh well. Yeah, this is the guy talking about the demon. I might as well just humor him, because he's an old drunk, and that is what we do. Fiendish demon living in the Skyloft. Dear God. Yes, that is what we do. All the nice people humor old drunks. Have yeah, the rupees sitting on top of the channel caught your eye? Yes, they have. Yeah, we'll just see about that. I mean, I'll, I'll just give the place a little shake. You know, I mean... You know, just enough to jostle the rupees. What are you doing here? Huh. Yes, I am, actually. <laughs> He's really into bugs. So I'm not collecting insects wherever I think I'll find them. You think you will find insects in this bar? Dear God, it's not up to the health code! And how dare you insult Beetle? Yeah, sure, he uh, almost killed me for not buying anything, but that doesn't mean you can just call him a sweaty shop owner. Alright, so let's go ahead and jostle this here thing for the rupees! <laughs> Come on! Come on! The ruby should have fell! And, ah, uh, damn. <laughs> Why would you do that? I just wanted the rupees, man! Oh, I just wanted the rupees. I didn't mean to do all that now. Did they say anything different? Oh, uh, yes, he does. No, I'm not. Okay, see, so, yeah, I'm just gonna go down here. I'm gonna grab the heart piece. Three to go before I get another heart container. I like how I landed perfectly on that table. Get my one rupee. Get my five rupees. Ooh. I did not mean to talk to you. You don't even have that much long. I mean, you don't have that long left to live anyway. I mean, it scared the ear off it. Oh well. No, you just ridiculed me and then you asked me. No, you drunk. No, leave me alone. Then we grab this and then we get the hell up out of here. No. Ah crap. Alright, well, let's humor the angry man. And like I said, I don't know if this is mandatory or not, but whatever. I did it! I mean, it'll work for me for free <laughs> until you pay off every single rupee that chain layer cost me. Got that? Are you don't up to your responsibility? Yeah, fine. That's right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Listen, I'm wasting any time putting you to work. I need you to lure my famous soup to Iga Skyloft's Night Commander. Night Commander is, at regular, is regular here. He says he can't get his day started without pulling my soup. What do you say? Are you ready to deliver some soup to the Night Commander? Yep! Alright, then here's the hot pumpkin soup. Deliver that to the Night Commander. Yeah, uh, Oh, it'll get cold in five minutes. There's no kidding, the Night Commander hates cold soup, so you're going to take this hot soup over to him. I'd say you gotta deliver it in less than five minutes or the soup will get cold. Yeah, okay, might as well. Fine. We got five minutes and we're out of here. We got five minutes in and I don't really give a damn. I'll do this some other time. Why not? I mean, I think, like, if you just come back with cold soup or you, you know, drink the soup yourself, he'll get mad at you and give you some more soup so that yeah. you can do it. So, yeah. Just gonna go back to Skyloft and then save and then uh, call it a day. Next time we can start off with the, uh, um, the, uh, or, uh, putting the thing in the pedestal. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll put it in the pedestal. And find out how we can get to Elden. Hint, hint. A portal's gonna open in the clouds. Alright. So, with that out the way, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time with some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Speed boost! And, you know what? Screw it. I actually got here faster than I thought I would. I'll deliver the soup, and then I will call it a day. the hell is Aegis, anyway? Is he the, uh... sparring guy? We'll go soon find out! We will soon find out! There we go. Oh, God! Alright. Yeah, it's gonna run a little over, but I don't care! Sparring home. Will he be in there?
Okay. You the guy that's the guy that needs the soup from the guy. Smell something. I know that earthy aroma is my favorite pumpkin soup. Or a lovely pumpkin bring me some, but you went out of your way to deliver soup to me? Yeah, that's right. Yes, give it to me. Here you go. You must really love his soup. Took it straight to the head. Wow, okay. Hmm, this is the stuff. Pumpkin soup is best piping hot. Well done. Say thanks to the owner for me. Yeah, about that. The owner kind of sort of hates my guts right now. All right, but yeah, with that pointless little side quest thingy out the way. Yeah, I think this is going to be an overarching thing anyway, but we will continue it later on. So, I will find a save point and save and quit. So, for reals this time, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time with some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Thank you and goodbye. Well, I meant thank you for watching. You know, I mean, the, the thank you, but it's sort of kind of implied and... Alright, this is going nowhere fast. Goodbye.